Body Heat, which is Digital Playground's newest release. Um, it's been out for six weeks now, and it's been number one at the charts for six weeks as well. Um, and I'm promoting that my website, jessiejane.com, is finally going live! Finally, after eight years! What else are you doing these days? Shooting? Dancing? I'm, you know what? These days, I've been doing a little bit of everything. I've been doing a lot of signings. I've been doing a lot of feature dancing. Um, we just got done wrapping another huge movie, Top Guns, like the movie Top Gun. We had three real jets. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm doing a lot of everything. I'm, I've been all over the place. I'm about to leave for South, uh, South Africa, Cape Town, to do a sexpo there. So, it's just, it's a lot of everything. Your favorite niche of medicine? Uh, you know what? I, I, I'm really into, like, like rough craziness. You know, um, I don't really necessarily have a fetish, I guess. I, I mean, I don't think I do, but I just kind of like rough, crazy all over the place, you know? I like somebody that's going to challenge me. What inspired you to get in business? Uh, I wanted to get in the business. I just like sex. I've always been very sexual, but I wanted to wait until I knew that's something I really wanted to do as a career. Um, but I just love sex and I, I've never been able to hide it. I've loved like sex. I've been very sexual and like open for a long time. So I just kind of decided I wanted to do it and especially, you know, why not with professionals and act out my own fantasies like as a role play character. Favorite adult movie ever? Favorite adult movie ever is Pirates. Pirates is like the number of, I mean, there's nothing like it, you know. That I did not shoot. Um, you know what? I don't know what it's called. I actually don't watch a lot of porn, um, but it was it, it was one that was Tracy Lords was in as a brunette. Weirdest scene ever. Weirdest scene ever. Uh, I had to take on. Okay, I did this movie called Story of Jay, and I had to take on where I was innocent, a virgin, and I got brought to the sexual house so to somebody to teach me what I was supposed to be doing. So like one of the scenes was this girl gangbang with all these glass dildos, and it was very weird for me. Um, I didn't, I didn't get that scene. I, I it was just um, different, you know, a good gangbang with girls and glass dildos. <laughs> Did you enjoy school? Yeah, I was a straight A student. Uh, I had all my high school math done in by eighth grade. Um, what else? I could have graduated another year earlier, but I just didn't want to miss out. I was already young, so I didn't want to miss out on anything else. How much different are you off camera than off camera? I'm pretty much the same person. What you see is what you get. Like I'm, a, I'm actually sexually, I'm crazier in my personal life than I am on film. But my personality-wise, when you come and meet me, I'm the exact same person. Are you known for anything specific in industry? Yeah, I'm known for being the crazy one. I, I don't lay down like most girls do. I fuck, I attack back, you know? I, I'm known for like getting crazy, like hardcore and going at it, almost like you're never going to have sex again. So I attack the guy or girl like I'm never going to have sex again. What other interests you have outside the business? I love dancing, like, you know, just going out dancing. Um, I love sports. I go to almost any sporting event I can go to. <laughs> um, and I just like hanging out with my friends. So. Do you have another career lined up after you know what's going uh, I'm trying to decide exactly what I want to do. I have a couple of options. Like, I'm in the middle of uh, working on a book deal right now. But um, I might, I've had some people ask me to run a club for them, you know, be like silent partners. You know, and then I've thought of other things. Um, you know, I'm very athletic and stuff, so I thought about opening a gym. So, I know, we're, I'm, I'm actually a certified trainer. I am AFAA certified. Would it be hard having a line of guys at the club? No, I would love it. That would be a good thing. That See, that would be in my bed.
benefit. <laughs> Have you noticed a change for different type of girls in the industry? Yeah, you know what? It's a uh, it's very different to see the girls that come into the industry now. They're all uh, very young and not unsure if they really are that sexual or really want to do it. So whereas before you get these like crazy, like gorgeous girls that were, you know, like fiending for sex, you know. You kind of get the innocent girls, and don't get me wrong, they're gorgeous, you know. Um, but they're unsure exactly why they're trying to decide this career as a career path. So, it's kind of different. How long do you plan to stay in the business? About two to three more years. Definitely two to make up the Hall of Fame. I'm eight years and counting. <laughs> Have you watched adult film before you started? Yeah, oh no, no. I definitely saw porn started, I think, when I was about 15, maybe, um, which I liked it. I was like, ooh, I think I could do that. And I always kept it in the back of my mind and stuff. And then, of course, I waited until I was 22, but then I did it, so. Who's your favorite adult cover today that you haven't worked with? That I haven't worked with? Oh. wanted to work with so I can't think of a girl that I haven't worked with oh there Tara Patrick I have not worked with Tara Patrick Do you watch your own work as I've seen my own work um, there's a couple of movies that we've done like pirates and stuff where we've had to do you know you know watch it and review it I forget what they call it um, and watch it. So I've watched it. You kind of critique yourself. And then I've seen stuff in the trailers and stuff. So I've watched it. I, but I don't sit there and watch every single movie I've done, you know? I was there. I lived the moment. I know what happened. <laughs> Have you ever been injured on scene? <laughs> you know what? I've never really been injured. I've been roughed and got banged up a little. But um, this last thing I shot, actually, it was such a crazy scene. It was really, really good, too. Um, the next day, I was bleeding. And I guess, like, I didn't feel it when it was happening. We were going so hardcore in all these crazy positions and really hard. And I loved it. Like, I was so in the moment. They, like, it's going to be in a movie out coming out next year. But um, the next day, all of a sudden, I was cramping and we were shooting on scene. But I was like, God, I'm cramping so bad. And I was bleeding a little bit. So I've never bled before from having hard sex. But so, yeah, I guess technically I've been injured a little. How do you see the industry as a whole? Um, right now, uh, I see the industry trying to fight back. You know, the way the internet is kind of trying to kill the business. Nobody's buying DVDs anymore and the piracy. So I see like everybody trying to work together, all the different companies and the stars try to come together and, you know, show fans there's a reason why to buy porn and stuff and sticking together, which is amazing. Everybody should work together. You know, you might be in a different company, but we're still part of the same business and the same team. So, um, you know, I think it's good, and even though with like the decline of the like DVD sales because of the internet, I mean, it's still a, it's a multi-billion-dollar business. You know, we're fine and we're not going nowhere. Do you really have any interest in working in Gonzo? I love Gonzo. I've done some Gonzo. You know, Robbie D has a line. You know, like Jack's Playgrounds and stuff, and Teen Americas, and I've done a couple of those. I like it. You know. I do all these big features, which are fun and great, and I have a great time, but I'm also a very dirty girl, so the, when I get to shoot Gonzo's, it's, it, it's a lot of fun for me. Do you have any interest in directing and producing the features? You know, I used to want to direct, and because of the way the internet has killed the DVD sales, I won't waste my time. You know, and I, I don't care what people say, you know, I know a lot of people are losing money and the people that say they're making money aren't really making money. And I just don't want to invest my time. Like, I had a couple movies lined up that were insane to do, but it's a waste of my time, my energy, and my money. I just, why? I, you know, I could find something else better to do. <laughs> What's your favorite mainstream movie of this year? Salt. I love Angelina Jolie. I'm a big fan, and I thought all the stunts in that ma uh, movie was amazing. I don't really watch TV. Okay, 
but uh, I do watch Sons of Anarchy. That is my, okay, that's my favorite show of all time. All time. Favorite flavor ice cream? Hot chocolate. Uh, I love walking. I, I try to play video games with my son. Um, I'm just not very good at them. <laughs> But we try to play the Madden and stuff like that, so. Liberal or conservative? Huh? I'm liberal. Democrat, independent? Independent. Have you voted recently? Uh, I voted for the president last year. I haven't voted on anything like mayors or judges or anything lately. I'm never home to vote, so. Big or small booth? Either. <laughs> Assuming I've had sex with my fans, some of them, yeah, so, I don't, I mean, I don't ask them, hey, are you a fan of mine, you know, but I've had sex with people, so. Um, I'm, I, I mean, I have my own beliefs, but I am not over the top, you know, pushing my beliefs on somebody or talking about it all the time, but I do have my beliefs, yeah. Do you have any pets? Yeah, I have three boxers. Dogs. Yeah. Have you ever volunteered or donated anything? Oh yeah, all the time. I do stuff all the time for a bunch of different charities. I would say that you really need to know what you're doing. You need to enjoy sex because the people that come in and then don't enjoy the sex or think that they're doing it to get back at somebody and nobody would find out, guess what? It doesn't matter what kind of movie you do, somebody, whether it be a friend, a family member, a friend of the friend, a friend of the family, are going to see what you're doing. So if you're embarrassed about it, then don't bother getting in the industry. You know, this is a fun industry. You need to enjoy sex. It's about sex. It's about having fun. Um, so if you're down to have sex and you don't care who knows, then come on in and just make sure you don't do anything you don't want to do because you don't have to do. Sometimes people pressure you into doing something, but you don't have to do it. Do you have your website? Yeah, I have my uh, my website's jessiejane.com. I do Twitter, which is Jesse Jane Rocks, and my MySpace, which is Jesse Jane. And I have Yahoo groups. I have a lot of groups. <laughs> I love my fans. Thanks for making it a great eight years and thanks for helping me keep going and I love you guys. You rock. <laughs>